Well, I didn't think you'd show up for a while. Are you kidding? I have got to tell you all about it. You didn't. We did. Oh, you're not going to go all moral on me, are you? You're supposed to be saving it for the right time in a meaningful relationship with somebody you loved. Well, a meaningful relationship has to start somewhere. Yeah, well, I'm in right trouble now, thanks to you and Jason. Mm, did your mum go off on one with you then? <sighs> what do you expect catching you two at it next door when you're supposed to be banned? Oh, the troll. My mum. Mm. Look now, you've got the nerve to show your face, madam. I've come to say that I am really, really, really sorry. Sorry doesn't begin to do it, Candice. Well, we didn't mean any harm. I've been trying to get hold of your mother. Oh, well, there's no need to do that, honestly, because I am so sorry. For what exactly? Breaking into a neighbour's house when I was supposed to be looking after it? We didn't break in. So how did you get in? I had a copy made. Jason did it for us, I'm sorry. I don't believe you, Candice. And I've not even got on to you drinking whiskey. Let alone having underage sex with a man. Oh. More? What? Honestly, Mrs. Platt, I didn't do it. Oh, Candice, credit me with some sense. No, honestly. I know what it might have looked like, but I didn't. I haven't. Oh. OK. If you did, did you take precautions? Honestly, we didn't even do anything. So I won't be getting pregnant. Well, that's something. Not only is she Todd's girlfriend, she's no more than a kid. I know, she just will... Look, ma'am, I'm sorry, OK? You could go to prison, she's not yet 16. Oh, come on, ma'am, it happens all the time. Oh, great, yeah, you make a habit of sleeping with underage girls, do you? You know what I mean? Oh, she's not going to be pregnant, is she? No. Because if there is any chance... There that she... isn't. Well, where were you? Uh, we had the key to the Ramsons. Oh, I don't believe I'm hearing this. And then Todd came looking for her and we ended up having a fight. What, in the street, so everybody knows? No, well, Gail Platt and her boyfriend heard someone about her. I don't know how much they know. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. So, are you going to see him again, then? Yeah, why not? I mean, he is so mature after his brother. The way that Todd just lost it, you know, like a little kid. It's all right, I'll get it. Well, he's had his chance. I mean, Jason is so much better looking. Want a coffee? Thanks. I'll make it. Right, no sugar. Oh, what the hell? Two sugars. <laughs> well, I can guess what this is about. Yeah, well, uh, I got some garbled story from Todd. <laughs> It seems Jason took the key the Ramsdens had left us and made a copy. Oh, I see. The pair of them thought it'd make a nice little love nest. I've told you, all we did was kiss, that's it. Is there a law against that or something? Not against that, no. Look, I wouldn't. I mean, Jason's like a bloke. He's not like a bloke, Candice. He is a bloke. He's also got a girlfriend. Yeah, his own age. Very nice girl, Maria. Yeah, we'll be falling out. So, uh, was there any damage or outlift done to the Ramsdens? No, not this time, no. To be honest, I'm more concerned about Candice and Jason. Oh, well, I mean, Sue's now happened. Her mother never misses a chance to slag this family off. If she finds out you've been in an empty house with an 18-year-old lad, I dread to think what she'll say. Yeah, well, I don't think Jason will be making that mistake again. Why shouldn't we see each other? I don't see the problem. Mom. Listen, I've already spoken to Jason and Todd about exactly what went on yesterday. And I really don't think that any of us want a repeat performance. Todd, lovey. You and Candice, right? Well, I was wondering. Had you and her... Well, what I mean is, had you got close? If you're asking if I slept with her, then... <clears throat> no, I hadn't. No, right. It's just, uh, I thought that... Yeah, well, me and her agreed. We'd make it special when the time is right. Oh, well, that's very sensible. Teach me to be thoughtful, won't it? Hey, don't go thinking that all girls are like that little tart. They'll appreciate you for waiting, for being considerate. I don't see the point of relationships yet. Try to build something special. Not now. You can't think like that, love. No. Not about you and Dennis. Yeah. Well... You're 40 and you still keep getting it wrong, so what's the point? 
Because not everybody out there is like Dennis or Candice. And I promise you that one day you will meet someone special who will really appreciate what a nice guy you are. Because as you've noticed, nice guys are thin on the ground. I hope you've come to apologise. Oh, now what have you done? Ask Blue-Eyed Boy. I didn't do it. He only told Maria. He told Tyrone. He did this. Well, I thought Tyrone was going out with Fizz. Yeah, he is. Yeah, well, whoever did it and why, good for them. Oh, thanks. Well, what do you expect, Jason? You've just done the dirtiest trick imaginable on your brother. And yet, I don't for one minute think you're really sorry. She said they'd finish, so did he. You didn't waste a flipping second jumping in, though, did you? You just didn't stop to think. Do you know, you really do keep your brains in your underpants. Oh, I've had enough of this. I hope you don't think you share my room tonight, either. No, don't worry. I'll be out of here as soon as I pack my bags. Oh, don't be so soft. Where are you gonna go? As if you care. You've got your favourite son with you now. You don't need me to get away. Did you arrange this? He has to come out sooner or later. Come on. Hiya. What? What's up with you? Yeah, look what happened. It's all thanks to you. Now get lost, will you? What? But I thought that. I don't care what you thought. I've been getting now but grief all day. Oh, Todd's jealous. So get over it. I've been threatened with prison. I've been smacked in the face. And now I'm not even welcoming my own home. You can't blame Candice for that. Yeah, well, I think I just did. Candice, you're a kid. The other night shouldn't have happened. Well, you didn't say that then. Yeah, well, I should have done. Now, get on me face, will you? But what about me and you? Are you not listening? There is no me and you. There never has been, there never will be. You're a pig, Jason Grimshaw. You're a flaming pig. Come 